It says here, if the Chinese go on increasing, there'll not be enough food left to go around. Well, someone ought to tell them Chinese to stop it. Well, why don't you? They might take notice. Hey, look at that. Plaster. I told you I heard a bang. I wonder what's keeping our Arthur and our Jenny upstairs. You worry about the Chinese. You'll have enough to be going on with. I hope he's not choked her. Don't be daft. Hello, ladies. What's Order. this, then? Shop meeting. Don't you be so cheeky, Jeffrey Fitton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Mum. Your tea's in the oven. You sit down, love. Ta. I'll go, Dad. Hello, Jeff. Is Jenny back yet? She's upstairs. Oh, good. And where are you off? Upstairs to see Jenny. You sit down. Go on. She doesn't want to be disturbed. I won't disturb her. I've got some news for her. She's with her husband. Arthur? What's he doing home? Minding his own business. He walked through here like it were a public convenience. If you say that again, I won't be responsible. Well, there's no other way of putting it. He looked neither left nor right. I've warned you. Why so touchy, Mum? Because when I was a girl, I walked into a men's place by mistake. What a sight. Two lines of men all wearing raincoats, with their stooped backs and their blooming heads sunk forward, as though they expected to be shot in the back at any moment. If ever I have a nightmare, you can bet your life that comes into it. Ah, oh, Mum. Hey, Dad, has our Arthur got the sack or something? I don't know what he's got, but he can't walk through here like it was a... Pu can't open me bloody mouth these days. Suppose I just let them know I'm here. They don't want to know. How do you know they don't? I've got a feeling. <laughs> 